Hello and welcome back. Now then, I have a few things to say. Uh, <laughs> one, a massive apologies to Giants. Because for once, the actual moving malarkey was actually all down to my equipment. It was, it was a faulty gamepad. I've got a couple. Now, why are you not following? Oh. I've been silly, I'd forgotten the rules of the problem, eh? Yeah, I need to. Yeah, put that down. The tool has to be done already. Then you can do it. And it'll do, it will literally sort of do exactly as you've set it. So. Right, okay. Yes, massive apologies. It was not giant at all. It was not some new bug. Of course, we do get used to the beer bugs, but this time it really was my equipment. I put my other spare gamepad in. That's this is funny. This is a an older gamepad. Yeah, you are smashing. Yes, put my old gamepad at the creep stop that's been bothering me for about three or four days. So it's a shame it's less than a year old, and it is not a. It was not a poor one with being a content creator I have a wireless one but because yeah I was forever running out of batteries when I first created content and I thought you know wired is the way to go never any running out of batteries and that is what I've done ever since that and I bought uh, yeah I've got a I think I got through one Xbox 360 proper controller it started to move and then I got another one of these um, I bet I'm not yeah I shouldn't say names but yeah I don't think, I don't think you're supposed to, are you? Advertising and all that. But yes, a reputable one, let's just say that. It wasn't a, a cheap one. Mind you, to be honest, yeah, some of the cheap ones are fantastic as well. One of the best controllers I ever had was something like... No, that's still advertising. <laughs> was a very unknown Chinese brand, and it must have lasted me about five or six years. A very heavy use, and it really was. I was very sad on the day, finally, that the... Micro switches went and it started to do weird things. Now that we're slow down a bit, that's the only thing about this. It does tend to be a, sl a slight amount slow. I suppose what we ought to do is put it on cruise control. A bit slower than we should be. I think. Yeah. Like 12. And then creep it up slightly. Yeah, I'm going to go into a time that's because this is going to be boring if I talk to you. But yeah, I just wanted to. Massive apologies to Giants, but once I did malign your reputation, and it was all my equipment, it really was. So for that, I do apologise for once. Yes, the, the other things are yours, but this time I did malign your good name, and it really was my equipment. So yes, hopefully there's no creep. I did test it as well. Yeah, I did like literally get out, put the new one in with the game running and after a few seconds it literally kicks in and yeah it was the, the creep went away instantly. So no more creepy movements like on the last video. This is the finale of the yes of Lapacho, the storyline it really is. We should literally oh, time one. Yeah I know we're gonna get rained on at nine o'clock but that's no point for trying to stretch time. Yes, we are against the clock. It says it's going to rain at nine. The weathermen on this particular world seem a little bit more alive. They're not perfect, which is, yeah, I like that. I like the fact that the weathermen are equally as... Yeah, it, you can get rain when there was no rain forecast. I do like that. I think that's a bit more believable, because... <laughs> yeah, that is true to life. It is. So, why is that... Is he not windrowing? Yes, yes he is, it's pulling in. Yeah, that's alright. I think that might be the first row. Right, let's get cracking. Yeah, I am going to say my words, we know what we've got to do. This is the only field work we've got left to do today, and then the rest of it is all down to... You know, we've filled the well, we've got one PJ that we filled a, a little on the last um, video. Yeah, that should be topped up. We shall speed time up through the day whilst feeding our... And yes, with that grass is from yesterday, they caught the, my mistake in cut. So by the time we've windrowed this all up, we should actually get quite a goodly amount of grass. Then we can sell this field once we've got all the grass off, because it will have, at that point, yeah, it really will be then surplus to requirements. We 
we, oh, well, we need the money basically. It's not a service requirement. I would have liked to have kept it, but yeah. To be honest, it's better to have a grass fit. It was just this was ready made, yeah. And obviously, money was tight, but yeah. Ooh. I thought something had happened. I had a bit of a, a bit of a flick. Just checking my recording. Always goes quiet if you ever notice a patch where the video goes, there's no background noise. It's when I quickly checked to make sure that my software's recording. Yeah, I've had a few bits where I'm talking away to you merrily and I've not restarted. I'm not hit record, so yeah, I'm trying not to make such a silly mistake ever again. Yes, yeah, so I'm getting a little paranoid. Yes. Always pivotal. But yeah, it's, it's typically sessions like this that you cannot repeat. Well, you can not save the progress but often you hit save before you realize that you're st I suppose actually I do know enough now I did do this and find this out I know how to get the backup saves so you could literally roll it back to how this was before we started so I can do it now but it is still an absolute yeah it's an, a real pain because you've obviously got to do all that you've just done and the other thing is I always find it's quite amazing. Creativity is on the sessions where my s sound has gone wrong and my microphone's playing up. It's surprising when you have to add sound how amazing the human brain is. And, uh, like, obviously, I'm doing this that I'm doing now, but I'm talking to you at the same time. How amazing the brain is for thinking. When you come to sort of think, what was I talking about? It is so difficult. It is so difficult to dub your voice on a session. You're thinking, I don't know what I was saying. Whereas right now, you're just speaking. I'm just speaking to you guys and girls, just yeah, about what what's cracking off and all the rest of it. I am going to hush up now, though, because yeah, we know what we've got to do. This is the last cut, and we'll grab this windrow. It. That is the point. How is he doing? Is he able to get? No, no. It's the yeah, air. It's. The only way I could join these windrows is if I went quite heavily to the left. I'm not worried as long as the windrows are... Yeah, this is the, why the other windrow actually would have been a bit better. I suppose if we do that, let's just test this. I think I'd sooner have an overlap and have a bigger windrow than I would not. Yeah, if I roll this way until the end of the row, let's see what happens. If we... Ah... Yeah, if we, I'm sure I did this once before when I was doing the edge of the field. If I roll just to the right of this, I'm sure it actually rolls the two into one. Yeah, it does. Right. Secrets to getting bigger windrows, that is, rolled quite close to the uh, other window to join them together. It's got a 6.5 and this is a 3.4 cut, so we need to do that. And then the windrows will blur into one from two, which should be better. It'll just take me a little longer to cut it. Right, I am going to literally shut up now, and we shall cut this. We'll time lapse this, and then afterwards we shall do the speeding up through the day and the strategic selling of digestate at different times of the day, because we do need to get all of the digestate out of both beach uh, out of the one we are selling. It's yeah, and that is quite a long way to run to the slurry yard. So I'm not sure whether to... We shall see how the money's going. If we can, I wouldn't mind buying the liquid tanker, the uh, Mack Trucker one. That's, yeah, that one would do very nicely. But we shall see. Yeah, we shall play it by ear. Anyway, we know the plan now. I'm going to say my words. I'm going to see you guys and gals on the other side.
are done. Smashing. Finally. God, and then it. Yep, we have problems. I'm not worried though. Yeah, it's on our land. It will be on our land when we pay for it. We are going to grab the. Put this in the silo. The Hessian silo. And then we are going to call the shop to pick this up. Then we're going to go back for the Aperion. We're going to leave our um, Windrow and Tedder over there. They're not hurting anything. Yeah, the farmers in this area are all good, I must admit. Besides which, they're chained to a big rock. <laughs> I just can't see it. <laughs> no, it's a good area, actually, to be honest. Yeah, there's no need for that. Yeah. Which makes for a nice change, because in our area, in England, there's massive rocks and all sorts. Yeah. Right, so we should give them a ring in a minute. I'll go and grab the Aperion. In fact, we'll give them a ring now. Thank you very much for your faithful service. Smashing. Right, yeah, it was rather eventful. I'm hoping I can get the last... Yeah, I'm hoping I can get the last 13 and 14 tons out of the... Um, right, the first thing we'll do is we're going to sell this field. That we can at least do. By get oh, that's true. We could grab that on the front at the same time. Yeah, let's grab what we can. And I think we probably will try to grab all these and the two blue ones. I think that would be a wise decision because we are going to have to um, grab obviously all of the stuff overnight to stick into our silo because obviously these Hessians are going to have to be dismantled by the company. I can't see them giving us any uh, leeway. We shall see legally how we stand. Maybe some kind of loophole on time to move things even legally that's often recognized as a legitimate legal thing to get your property out of the way moving times even if someone evicts you from somewhere you still have the legal right to a time limit now why have I come to this one doesn't matter just realize what I've done well, no, no, I did do it right. <laughs> I just thought for one horrible minute that I'd actually just sent the grass, but no, I did. I just remembered. I was just thinking, that's a trendy trouble you chattering. I'm tired, actually. Yeah, I don't know why. Right, so we want to drop the back one off and manoeuvre that to the Aperion. And then we want to grab the swivel axle at the front only not because technically it should go to the back but it's easier for me to maneuver yeah not I've not I've had quite a bit of practice on this I'm not good I certainly I definitely wouldn't say I'm good but I certainly have made improvements definitely it's been very very useful yeah it's not something I've usually give up straight away if I'm honest with the uh, swivel axles and this I've even tried a couple when I've had two on the back I do prefer doing it the forward way though I do yeah your brain I think works more better that way or mine does well no I think a lot of people do I've seen uh, Frithgar do that and I think Mr. Sealy P as well ah oh, don't tell me ah it's a cup of course it's a cup <laughs> Of course it is, it's bound to be. Oh well, a Perian it is then. I'd sooner take 50 tons at a time than uh, than not. Now one thing we can do is we may as well grab some 50 tons of uh, silage. I did notice in that top one there's five, nearly 500 odd tons of silage in that. That is tremendous. It truly is. Has that got a pin hitch at the back? I'm sure it hasn't, the Aperio. It's got something way back, but there's no way that's a pin hitch. Would not be able to get anywhere near it. Right, let's grab 50 tons. And then we shall see. Yeah, we're going to sell the field. We'll do that in a minute. We'll literally grab 50 tons out of that one over there. So that would be 10 trips to that. We will have a count up on the uh, 
silage as well. Mind you, we've still got hours left. We sh I would imagine, actually, our our BGA needs topping up because it was no, it's about two actually. No, it'll be getting down, but it'll not be empty, empty. Oh, yeah, we'll have a look. We'll have a look now. Let's have a look at our BGA. Small one at the bottom is yeah, plenty. Wow, 93 tons of digestate though. Tremendous. Oh dear, I apologise for the yes, not quite in the right place. That the game's letting me get away with it, but 52 tons at a time, smashing. Right, let us sell our field. We can do that. Eight hundred and twenty six thousand three hundred and forty. Not much more now. We'll easily do that when we sell the buy guess what we do oh yeah, I'd just like to get the we're gonna see if we can lease anything. If we can lease something. Yeah. Stick this in the main silo. In fact no, I'll tell you what we'll do, we shall pop some into the BGA first and then stick it in the silo. That way I'm not double handling it. We're topping that up. Yeah, we'll just see if we can rectify. You will have seen the fact that it flung the it, that nursing tank doesn't like you prodding it when it's on its side. Yeah, I saved the game quickly because it flung me in the air, as you will have seen, obviously. But wow, yeah, it's a little bit volatile. So, not sure if we're going to get away with this. Stick that mower there. Let's grab. Did think about the wheel loader, but it's uh, still whether we do it or not. Yeah, it, it would be better. The weight of it's going to be better than the little seater. We would need to buy a. I'm trying to think what would be best. Really not sure. Still not sure whether buying or whether leasing a wheel loader might be better. I need, I need some weight. Why are you not? Oh, some. Yeah, I forget how long the Imperial is. Okay. I'm not close enough. Oh, I am. Oh wow, more than I thought. Right, we shall stick this in the silo. I wonder if I put the weight of... Do you know, it is a matter of mass. We've got 28 tonnes. We've got 39 tonnes of mass with us right now. If we put pressure on that whilst that prods us, the only thing that's going to defeat us here is the actual mod itself, the nursing tank. Whoa, it's not letting me shift, come on. Yeah, if I can put pressure as you would do, the mass of that. Ooh, yeah, I need to be central. Yeah, true physics. first and I'll try and get myself to be smack bang in the HTZ uh, perpendicular to the lid thing which is the halfway point on that and we'll just put pressure there just sit with our pressure on that right. and then I shall try this is, yeah, this is going to be the... Now I wonder if I'm best to pull. I always think pushing is the more... Yeah, because I'm going to be weird if I try and... Yeah, I'm not sure I can get any kind of pressure. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> I'll take that. 
will take that. I really will. Oh my life. Okay. Well, I'm not going to ask any questions. We all saw it. <laughs> I have no idea what happened there, but I will take it. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I didn't expect that. Now then, let's be careful. I know. I did know. My heart sunk actually when I when I was racing over the thing. I thought. I just knew, you know that sinking feeling when you know something. This is so uneven when you go over that rickety bit. That's why I was trying to come over that land. It's better. It's still a bit rickety. Like now even. Yeah, it's so... Not really not nice. At least we did that. Right, we're going to run this manually as well. God, I better... Yeah, we'll... Run hours late. It's not important from hours because ours is going to be here still. It's the other side, which has only got one more run, I think. I'm sure it has only got one more set. Yeah, less than. And I was right. It's got nine tons of silage left in it, so. Actually, yeah, we, actually, that is a point. It is, actually, thinking about it. What I think we'll do is we shall send this over. Yeah, we should grab that last thing. Oh, is that wise? I think we ought to do it with the little tractor as slow as it is. Really doesn't like it though, but it's better with the... We, we know this from what happened earlier, or in an earlier episode. This is a lot better if it's got the bucket and that on the front. It somehow acts as a bit of a ballast for it. So, and it was better with the weight on, if you remember. It actually pulled the nursing tank. Even empty, this doesn't like the nursing tank on the back of the Zeta itself. But yeah, this bit of land here is horrible to get out of. Right, let's try. It's just got to hit that smack bang in the middle just there. And then I thought it was going to get stuck on the railway earlier. This struggled to get it over there. See, that's much better. Right, let's send this. over to the BGA. It doesn't like actually the BGA itself. Set destination. Send you there on that road. And we are going to grab... I think I'm going to time lapse this because this is going to be a bit beastly. We need to be grabbing... Oh, oh just stop the engine. We need to be grabbing the digestate. Oh, seriously? don't like going from the fields. Yeah, I, I, I do it sometimes, but not very often. Right. Typical. Right, okay. Looks like we're running this over ourselves. Yeah, we should fill this and we probably will get another couple of tons out of that silage before it gets too late, late. And we will the digest it in hours. It's not important until very late, so we just need to drag this back one more time from over there. Is there anything we can grab? No, not the front. Can't grab the windrow of the tether. So, 160,000 to go. Wow, we have smashed this. We've got the hourly tick ups all the way through till 12 o'clock this tomorrow morning, literally 12 tonight, you know what I mean, 12 a.m. this day, the turn of September, there is our old faithful field, yeah, well chuffed, bearing in mind we've also bought the Aperion and we are definitely, I'd say we've got to buy our field back 19 as well, so that's, yeah, we've got to write a check for that, so that money will disappear at um, one at twelve o'clock, sorry, as well. How much digestate have we got in hours? Wow, we can have a hundred tons in that. If you remember earlier, we had a hundred tons in the pair. Now we've nearly got 100 tons just in hours. That's a ho over 100,000 just in hours. That's not including 
as I said, the bottom line is we are going to have, we will top this up in a minute. We're going to leave this over here and we're going to have a look at all of the silage that we've got on hand because I think this is going to feed our BGA all the way through the winter, which would mean when we start next spring, we'll have a lot of money to buy. Well, we'll also have the sales to go through. That'll be nice to see if we get any, any items drop. But we've definitely got money for fields in there. Late. Ooh, let's put those spikes away. I don't know what it is with the workers, they always put the spikes out. Obviously, giants haven't taught them that that's <laughs> bad form. <laughs> oh dear, I'm only kidding. I just <laughs> giants do, have got a lot to do already. Yeah, I feel really bad now for what I was whinging about. Right. Fill that, and I'm sure we get a completely fill one, fill one, full one by the time. Right, so we should leave that then. I should go over to hours, and yeah, that's what we're going to do, isn't it? I think I might do that off camera. The actual moving of the stuff. Uh, yeah, rather than do that now, I, I think we all want to see how this goes, but I would like to have a look to see how much right now we've got in the Hessians, just the silage. So we've got 188, 427, so if we call that 500, 700, Gordon Bennett, nearly 1100, wow. Call it 1300 tons, 1 1.3 million tons of silage. And the one good thing is that you can see there's only 48 tons to process of straw. There's only 31 tons of straw left in that one. 54, there's a lot of grass. That would be the one we've just dumped the grass in. So we're going to have to shift some of that grass. Yeah, that's only got 70 odd of the two. So you can see, to be honest, we were. My sums were not that far out, and of course it's not, the day's not over yet, so, right, anyway, let's grab, yeah, I, I, I agree with that, we'll do the rest off camera. We shall speed time up, I think, we'll, uh, yeah, let's put this on, say 120, speed this up to about 6-ish. See how we're doing at the other BGA. Once if we can grab that digestate, or we can get a one full tank, that will do me. Definitely. Right, so let's get ready. Just keep topping this up. We don't want to be filling this up from here, though. You know, the, the closest one. Oh, I don't suppose it makes any difference. Actually, that is true. Let's take it down to 60. Oh, so he says as he takes it to 30. <laughs> yeah, we'll go and grab some silage from the furthest one. Makes more sense, doesn't it, to not to double handle this. May as well keep this topped up. Grab 50 tons. In fact, yeah, does it matter which? No, it's it's more sensible, isn't it? Really, it truly is. You would do that. It is also eventually going to save us. Yeah, it's nearly 500 tons in that one. We did have a look when we were over there putting the grass in. That's I think it's the 488 tons. That was one of the biggest ones for straw. I'm sure it was. Same as that one there. We pass in now. That had most of the straw from field 13 in it. That one had most of the straw from this field in it because it was the only one to begin with, if you remember. And then we stuck the bottom one. Actually, yeah, the bottom one also got quite a bit of straw from 13. Yeah. Let's fill this. It's six o'clock now. Let's take that down. Let's have a look what the biogas is like. 
the big one. Smashing, that is it. Yeah, we are literally right. Let's go grab the little Zeta. It doesn't matter if we bring that home even just that we get it out get it out of the tank. Wow, that was not a bad guess. I'm quite pleased with that. Wow, that's so amazing. 696 litres is all that's left. Right, we can get our literally get this product over to our back finger room it's ourselves. We'll cross country I might add. Well wow, I'm well impressed with that. So to be honest we've smashed this without worrying about diet ooh that's what it did earlier. Yeah, it's, it's heavy. Have the trains just passed. Oh, which way do I need to go? I need to go left. Yeah, I'm quite chuffed actually. I even managed to keep the uh, two tractors pretty much topped up with fuel. Kept noticing quite a few times. I'm pleased because in FS22, boy, have I been terrible. Absolutely awful. Well, I can honestly say that there were times right back at the very beginning, in fact, I think I said it last time, it was only two or three sessions ago that I actually saw hope. I don't mean I can never give in to hopelessness, you never, otherwise you lose all power. But, yeah, I, I was sweating, it was only when I could see and I started to like look at how many hundreds of thousands of tons of silage, where even if we'd have sold the silage just as silage without processing it then we would have absolutely nailed it then and I could see that a couple of sessions ago so yeah but things have got better the payouts at night that we've had last couple of you know yeah last two nights have been fantastic absolutely phenomenal so yes we'll get this digest date into the BGA then we're gonna sorry into our slurry yard then sell the big BGA and we can literally send, literally give Erlang Village International Leisure a ring and transfer the funds early. Yes, we will, do not need to leave it until 12 a.m. We can s literally settle this matter once and for all. Clear my name. Wow, that train. Don't know if I get from one side to the other quickly. Yeah, I'm well chuffed. Absolutely fantastic. Let's, yeah, let's get that done. Wow, what's, wow, one million two it was. I did think I'd be a couple of hundred over. So that's, that's before we sold the, uh, there's a lot of digest. Do you know what? Actually, thinking about this, we're going to be, there's nothing we can do, really, and I, don't even mind we've worked our backside off on this entire session I don't mind letting the money basically if we sell a digest date in it's December January you usually get the best possible price I don't I think we should sit on it and not just rush to sell I really do think that would be for once wise I'll be careful this is where it goes horrible yeah it was this bit here when it bounced it is worse on the HDZ, but you can see. That's better. It is better on this for some reason. I don't know why, whether it's a lower... I suppose it is lower. I've got to be careful here. That's a really nasty lip. If you go that way on, you need to go sideways. It's much more level this side. Yeah, so I think we will switch the engine off. Won't let me switch the engine off. It's gone wrong. Doesn't surprise me. I think it's with all that's uh, happened earlier that, yeah, I think it's uh, a bit of a mod crash if I'm honest. 
it should settle itself down after the yeah right we are going to sell send our money directly over to Erlang now the moment I have certainly been waiting for one zero 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 wired to Erlang now smashing uh, 2,233 400 have I? Huh? What? Oh, my dollars did I just I'm going to have to check that in editing I think have I added no I can't have added an extra one I was very careful what on earth went wrong with that? Oh, it's that one euros 2,233,417 what? that doesn't even look proper ok I'm going to see if this settles down if we buy the oh that's true we need to buy field we need to send 127,400 to pay for this I know what I've done. I didn't minus, did I? <laughs> I added. My bad. Let's try that again. Oh, I bet you are all going, oh my life. Yes, I agree. So, let's minus two million. Being as I added a million. That's a bit of an anticlimax, isn't it? Right, one, two, three, one, two, three. Minus two million. That's more like it. Right, so we've sent our million off. Now we need to send, let's have a look again. Our field is 127,400. Let's send the money for that. Minus 127,400. Leaves us only 106,017. Right, okay. Let's grab that, if it's still there. Oh, isn't that typical? Is that not typical? It's been there all evening and now it's gone. It's just... is that not? <laughs> oh, right. Okay, HDZ, we need to grab you, don't we? Let's grab you. Right. Yeah, we are literally... we are now... yeah. The rest, obviously the fields, I cannot do on camera because obviously you know I would get the money for that. As in, as a, yeah, the storyline, obviously that money will, all those fields will go poof in the morning and when you next see me in the morning, all we will have is our field which you've just seen me buy. We will lose 13, 15, 17 and 14. We will and we'll just be the owners of 19. I will... I'm going to talk to, give the solicitor a ring and see what is going to be done about the Hessians, whether there is going to be any time to remove our product or whether it's going to be insistent on 12 o'clock tonight. So yes, I will give them a ring and we will discuss this next play session. But we did it. We absolutely nailed it. We truly did. Yeah, I think what we're going to do is we'll... Yeah, I'd like to wind down a bit after that. I'm going to literally, yeah, put this in. No, I am going to do things properly. I am. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out. I'm going to, yeah, cut back in. And we shall then settle this. And we will only have our fields. And I'll tell you about what the solicitor says about whether we do get a bit of a... Yeah, I mean, obviously the thing is, if I can't, I think the Hessians will mean I can't actually sell those fields, or the company can't sell them, so we shall see. I'm literally, yeah, I'm going to cut out, and then I'm going to cut back in whatever work I have to do. Right, I just need to top it up a little bit again still, not a lot though. Yeah, but can they get past me? That looks a bit close. Right, okay, I shall uh, cut back in a few minutes when I sort things out.
yeah, I shall, and I shall make note of what money we've got on hand, and obviously to see what uh, Erlang say about uh, product in all of our Hessians. So I shall uh, speak to you, and I shall see you shortly.